what's the feeling going into the game tomorrow? It's the the last couple of days. Just you, you guys have been getting ready for the game. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought our defense was really poor against Penn at times. I thought we played hard. And then we just give up blow by. So a lot of individual defense, team defense, keeping the ball out of paint, guarding the ball. Transition defense, Penn wasn't necessarily a transition team. I thought we gave up some threes in transition. We just so we just got we gotta get better. A lot of stuff on the defensive end. Offensively, our finishing at the rim, we've tried to put a big point emphasis. We missed a bunch of layups straight at the rim. We're trying to work on finishing a little bit better and then making better decisions whether we should try to finish or whether we should spray it out. So just a lot of little stuff trying to get the, the energy up. For the full 40, I thought we played really hard once we got down. You know, we're down nine and made the comeback to get us back in the game. But that same energy wasn't there at the beginning of the second half as it was at the end of the game. So different stuff like that. And then we just try to stay healthy too. We can't do everything we like and practice all the time. Just our numbers are down. And, you know, it'd be nice if we get Quinterly cleared, get, get one more healthy body in the mix. So. Hopefully find an answer out on that tomorrow afternoon before the game, but it's been our focus so far for the week. Are you willing to at all uh, place it on, on the pitch to, to the field uh, committee or whatever? What's, what's your case for him that, that you think can make a difference? There's yeah, I mean, we, he didn't fit one of the boxes, I guess, for a while for the original. You know, waiver. I think the, the uh, committee kind of looks at the whole thing, just with what they've gone through with committing to Arizona, the FBI deal, where their family got put into a situation that they didn't deserve to get put into. It was based completely on something someone else that was employed at a different school had said done. They got thrown into it, so it kind of caused him and his family quite a bit of been through a lot, so yeah, you know I don't want to get into all the particulars, but they've been through it a lot, a lot more than any kid or family should should have gone through, just based on deciding what school to go play basketball at. So he, need, he needed a fresh start in a bad way. We gave it to him. I think he's done everything he's asked since he's been here. So hopefully, when the committee that listens to the teleconference call, you know, hears the totality of the story, that they can. Show some sympathy and com compassion and agree with our attorneys and you know, compliance people here that he deserves a chance to play right away this year. So we're hoping we get a favorable answer tomorrow. Wait, what is the format of that conference call? Like, who talks during the, the conference call? You know what? I, it's a good question. I believe, you know, our compliance people will be in there. I'm, I'm not there. It's uh, it would be Javon and then. I, mean, I don't know. I'm not sure to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know all that. I, our compliance officers and our and our attorneys have been the ones running all that. So I know Javon speaks for sure, though. And then I'm not sure who else on our side to be honest with you. I, th I think Greg Byrne may be involved with it uh, from an administration standpoint. I think it goes all the way to Tier AD if if we choose to, which Greg's been really involved with this whole thing. So I would think it would be Greg, our compliance, our attorneys, and Javon. That, that would be my. There may be more people. I don't even know. You talked about healthy. You talked about healthy bodies. Just is Herb still on the same path? The game time decision, everything. Yeah, like that? Herb. Herb still. You know, and it's it was pretty nasty his fall with his elbow hyperextended. But we're gonna see what he feels like tomorrow. We didn't know if Reese or Beetle. We, we felt pretty good about Beetle last game. We didn't know if Reese would play at all. Reese came in, felt great that day. So we'll see what Herb feels like in, during shoot around. Kept him out of all the live stuff today, kind of like we had done with Reese and Beetle four days leading up to the last game. Now, Reese and Beetle have been going live here, so that I feel a lot better about them. Uh, so I think everybody but Herb's definitely going, and Herb will be a game game day decision. You mentioned death, death being an issue, even in this last game. You know, if whatever Herb's status is, how much does that affect? Yeah, I mean, it affects a lot just because if you look at, you know, Rojas and Jalen Gary are out. So you kind of look at those wings between 6'6 six, six and 6'8. Six, you got three of them, you know, Rojas, Jawan, and Herb Jones. Two of them are out for the year. 
if Herb doesn't play, that kind of eliminates all of our big wings. You know, and Pet Petty kind of in that category is a little bit more of a two guard. So you know, the way we'd like to play, we'd like to have multiple guys like that in there. Now we don't have any. So now you're playing Jalen Forbes at the four some, and John Petty at the four some, and we're more two guards. So yeah, it definitely messes the rotation up. We just got to figure it out. That's why it'd be great if we get clearly cleared. You know, even though he's a guard, you play Forbes and Petty more to four, and you got at least some more perimeter depth at the one through four spots. The crease is his new weight. Is he kind of one of those wings for you? Or is yeah, he... we'd like for him to be. You know, he uh, doesn't move quite as well as, you know, Herb and Juwan and Rojas. So he's, yeah, I mean, he's skilled enough and he's lost weight and he moves a lot better than he did. So. Does he move like a straight three? Not quite, but I, you know we'd like to play him a lot more minutes at the four than, than at the five. If, if you know if we can get him there, if he can stay in front of his matchup and guard his matchup at that spot. Coach, how do you uh, game plan and not knowing when your players are going to be out in the court? Uh, so we we went in all week assuming he was not, and his felt like as a staff, so he was on the scout team all week. And then, you know, we're getting him caught up with what we're doing offensively right now, kind of with some younger guys after practice. So he'll know everything we're doing offensively, but he's been practicing with the scout team all week, just assuming he's not cleared to play Monday night. You look at FIU, hung in with time pretty well. Yeah, it was, I think, 51 48 midway through the second half, three point game. I, they got half athletes, I mean, they'll be. Longer, more athletic than us in a lot of positions. Yeah, they played 13 guys. Every they, they played two regular games, two scrimmage exhibitions. I mean, they've been playing everybody every time they play. So we're down to seven or eight healthy guys. They're playing 13, so depth will be a factor. You know, they, they, they're they're a talented team though. They they played well last year under under Coach May and. They've got some guards that can go score that we're going to have problems staying in front of that we got to do a good job of. They, they also, you know, they, they, their best player coming back is coming off a knee injury. And he, you know, he, he, he's skilled though. He hasn't put up huge numbers yet, but he's bound to, as, as he gets more comfortable, be able to put up numbers. They've got some skilled bigs that can shoot three. I mean, their starting center was two for four from three, it's four for six from three on the year. So we got to get out and guard their centers on the perimeter. And, you know, they play really hard. They had 17 offensive rebounds against Miami, against a high major team. So we're going to have to do a really good job on the defensive glass, even playing small. Like we're probably going to have to play at times during the game. You mentioned that after the last game, obviously, you can't expect to make 17 threes every game. So how do you kind of balance that you know, with your approach, shooting from the perimeter and the outside, and kind of you know, expecting to maybe miss something? Yeah, I mean, we're going to take them. If they're open, we're, gonna, we're spreading the floor. We're going to take them the way we play. We're, you know, even if we don't shoot 17 for 37, if we're hovering in the mid-30 percent, you know, if you hit 14 for 37, like, like that's good. Even if you're 11 or 12, like, we still think you can get some long rebounds, go go get some offensive boards and play off those. But, you know, if you don't take them, they just pack it in the lane. So you, you have to take the open ones you get. And, Put shooters out on the floor. I think Ford, Ford's been shooting well. Shaq's been shooting well. Beetle's been shooting really well in practice. Kyra can shoot it. Petty can shoot it. And we've got Reese can shoot it. We've got six or seven really good shooters that are playing heavy minutes in the rotation. So I'm confident they'll go down. We're just I don't want anybody thinking twice about shooting it. I don't. Oh for seven, shoot it. Like we're gonna we're gonna shoot the next one every time for a shooter. If you want to do more questions, guys. I think, I, think, I, think, I think you had like 84 possessions last game. Is that kind of what you're expecting? Like, is that what the tempo you want to play at? Yeah, we, I, you know, if we can get above 80, push at 90, that's good. We're probably not going to get 100 in college. That's a little high, but 84, what, you know, that's not a bad number for us. We, anything under 80 is probably a little too slow. And Florida Atlantic runs. I mean, they, they don't, I don't think they're going to try to slow it down on us. They got 13 guys. And, I would assume, you know, and that's where you get into the discussion too. When you, when you got seven or eight healthy bodies, do you still play fast? I think that's kind of the way we play. That's the way we've practiced. That's the way we're going to play. We just got to be in shape to do it when our numbers are down, and we're going to play. I mean, if we could be in the mid 80s to upper 80s in our number of possessions, that's an, that's ideal for us. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.